Chuck, Chuck, the movie guy, the movie guy, he lost his goatee, but he's still fly. I've been waiting for a long time. Why don't you do this up? It's like uh. you're right in front of me. <laughs> it's like you're sitting right in front of me. This is amazing. Do you see me? <laughs> <laughs> I've, always, I've always wanted to do that. So. These 3D glasses have, have, have come a long way. I know. It's so funny because I was just telling somebody, oh, I said, I say, what are you doing? I say, uh, you know, three, I, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. And I said, oh, it's in 3D. And they're like, oh. And people have this, oh. And I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. 3D versus what it was even two years ago. Yeah. It's not just about, it's about depth of field. It's it about, really yeah. is. That's, yeah. what, that's what the cool thing yeah. is, is the depth of field, like really feeling like everything is three dimensional, not just that there's a bunch of things coming at you. You know, and it used to be, you used to take the glasses off because your eyes were strained. Now you take the glasses off because you're like, I can't believe this. You want to see what, how it looks without right. the 3D, you know, and then you see the blur and everything when you put them on, razor sharp depth of field and so forth. I know, like and it, it still looks pretty good even without the uh, yeah, glasses. I know. I'm like, yeah, exactly. How they pull that Except off? Except when they do the extreme depth thing, yeah, then you get the little thing. But I keep peeking, and it's just like this is amazing because this, honestly, this is the first, the, the first. Even when they, I even remember like a few months ago we saw a 3D movie. There was times at the end of the movie there was a little bit of eye strain. I had right. no eye strain in this movie, so they must have perfected yes. the uh, technology. And so yes. Forth. And you know, the other thing too is, is uh, it's like these characters are like our old friends. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like, hey, you know what you, you know you you you've seen the first two. You know what each one is. You just, they just let's go on another adventure. And it's an, and that's exactly pretty much what it is. I mean, the life just continues on and on and on and on, which yeah. is really fun. And it and it always seems to be an adventure. Goes into a new world. Yeah. With dinosaurs. And we could have a new catchphrase here. Talk to the trunk. Talk, Talk to, to the, the trunk. trunk. <laughs> that could be it. That could be the new catchphrase of you the know, summer. You know, whatever the kids latch on to <laughs> is what it's going to be, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, your character has a little bit of a predicament this time around. Isn't yeah, yeah, she's uh, sort of gestating there. Yeah, is that, is that the yeah. right, correct word for that? I Technically. To say, you, know you know, she's got a little uh, bun in the oven, if you will. <laughs> exactly. You know, Manny Well, and I don't want to say little bun because no. Several we're talking hundred about Manny. Yeah, exactly. Bun, yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. A very so. big, big bun. Right, yeah. A very big, cute, cuddly bun up in there. And uh, meanwhile, all this crazy stuff is happening around her, and there's all this life and death situations, as usual. Um, but they pull together, usually, and so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and usually I start off my interviews with uh, you know, doing a little bit of sucking up and so forth, but uh, we, we will do it now. Uh, you know, the thing is, is, one, is like your voice, you're just the most soothing voice. You're like the perfect animated character voice. But, you know oh. what I mean? You know, you're, come more. On. Give me more. Yeah, more. Give okay. me more too. <laughs> and this is the absolute truth. This is not. A, this is not a, a standard stuck up that I do. I talk about you all the time because I oh, do really? radio all over the country. And oh, people nice. always standard thing. You get on a new radio show. Hey, who's the nicest person? Who's the nicest? And I always say Queen Latifah. Nice. Because you are. I mean, you are one of those people that just you can just hang with and talk to or we'll come up and say hi to you and mm -hmm. we won't do the celebrity, you know, standard thing. It's like Queen Latifah works in person, on screen, or in animation. Or in music, exactly. Which reminds me, I think it's about time you put me in a song. Chuck the movie guy. I would like to see, I, I better make up a better song. Yeah. Chuck, Chuck, the movie guy, the movie guy, he lost his goatee but he's still fly. Ta-da. Awesome. awesome. <laughs>